Paris Agreement is effective for some time now and we don't see any serious effect of it. Global greenhouse gas emissions are not decreasing, they are in fact increasing just like before. The reason for this is that many countries feel like they have to be careful in implementing strict policies because they don't know what other countries are doing. So the solution is to strive towards policy harmonization. This requires that we have a good instrument and that instrument can only be a form of carbon pricing, be it a carbon tax or a carbon market. The advantage of going for that is that it will be very easy to compare the stringency of climate policies between countries because you can compare carbon taxes in different countries and know immediately if one country has a weaker or a stronger policy. In international negotiations you can also come to an agreement more easily because um, once the carbon price is on the table all countries know that if they support a higher carbon price it will affect other countries as much as themselves and therefore countries don't have to fear for their competitive or export position. The result is that uh, the policy can become more stringent, consistent in all the countries. And that's what we need. We cannot immediately negotiate this at the level of all countries, but what we can do is start a coalition of ambitious countries uh, that will implement such a carbon price, a joint uniform carbon price uh, for the first time, and then put pressure on other countries through moral pressure, but also through a border tariff that creates economic pressure. And as a third tool, they can talk at the international COP meetings of the United Nations to lobby for experimenting with a carbon price at the global level. I think this is the only way to get to serious and consistent global carbon pricing what is necessary to reduce emissions. <laughs>